Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I want to show you something really cool about these Pelican bass boats or any kind of bass boat really uh, and how you can transform your handheld trolling motor into kind of a foot controlled trolling motor. Now see my left foot right there? My foot is held down on a pedal. My trolling motor uh, is basically turned off unless I'm pushing down on that button. And uh, basically, I can be completely hands-free going down the lake, whether I'm standing up or sitting down. And all I need to do is just kind of tap the trolling motor left or right based on the direction I want it to go. And it allows me to fish a lot more efficient. Guys, this is the ultimate way to fish out of a tiny boat or a John boat is to have this little foot switch. It's something I've done since I was a kid. Literally, it's one of the very first mods that I ever did to this a boat just like this when I was 14 years old. So I want to show you a little bit of cool, cool stuff about how it fishes. I want to show you how to get this thing, and it's just a really, really easy mod. All right, let's see what we're gonna do, dude. Power fish down this, down this, to these reeds over here. I'm gonna throw a frog. You can flip or throw whatever, dude. See that? Try to grab it. What? First, first cast in there. Grab it? Yeah, he thought it was a bird. Oh, sh My bad. He thought it was a bird. He did. He jumped out of the water, try to get it. That's where I wanted to throw it, but I didn't want it to be in that damn tule. Got one? There we go. There we go. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that at least a seven, dude. Mm-hmm. They're all seven or eight, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we should figure out we should figure out how to fish together more. You too. I'm strong, baby. Dude, I was about to like film you just because I want to get the top order action, but I didn't. And that was the cast. <laughs> Alright guys, so the little button that you saw right there on the floor is this button right here. Now there's a couple of these. And when I was younger, I had there was one called the Bigfoot. Um, and I've tried a bunch of them through the years. Um, but I will tell you that this one by TH Marine is definitely the best one. Now, the only thing I can say is this is not sponsored or anything. I don't know TH Marine and they don't know me, but I can tell you that this thing has lasted for years. Um, when I get the other ones, there's a lot of aftermarket ones and stuff. Um, well, this is aftermarket, but there's a lot of other brands and that I don't really know, don't recognize them. Uh, and they're all about the same price point too. They're, you're not going to, you might save a dollar or two here and there. Um, but man, for some reason, I think that TH Marine just, they make a lot of other products in the Marine industry uh, and especially in bass boats and in pleasure boats and their stuff always just seems to be really good. So the big thing I found with this is you don't know when it's going to be slightly submerged in water. So because it's on the floor of your boat, you might get a little rainwater, you might get a little leakage or something from the boat. And all of a sudden there's a little bit of water hanging around this thing. Well, that water hanging around over time, you get corrosion, you get all kinds of stuff happening here. And that little teeny button goes out, um, you know, probably at least once or a couple times a year, depending on how many, how much you use your boat, unless I've used a high quality one. Now I used to have one, I don't even know where it was, but I want to say like eight or 10, probably more than that, probably 15 years ago, I had another John boat and um, I had one, a, a switch that was like a $50 switch. Um, but I think 
ever since I started using these, now that $50 one worked well too, but I think, man, for 23 bucks, this is the one to go with. I mean, um, basically the, the, the super easy install, um, it's, it's, it's dummy proof, easy install to install one of these. So basically, guys, when you get it, you're going to just open it, open it up, take it out of the package. There's nothing to it. Um, you'll need some basic butt connectors. But other than that, it's the simplest install you've ever you've ever chosen. It can go uh, on either power or ground wire, depending on what you're trying to do. And uh, there's instructions on the back. So it's super easy. Now, some of you also know we did a whole bunch of other really cool mods with the boat. This is one of my most happiest mods I've ever done. I have tried some different boxes, but if you have a John boat or a Pelican, or even if you're running a kayak or something like that, you know that the battery is one of the most annoying things. I mean, your battery can weigh as much as your boat, okay? So moving that battery around, but really just getting the wires and the cables in and out of it is really complex um, in terms of, well, I mean, it's not complex, but it's just a pain. There's a lot of moving and stuff to do. And I'm the kind of person, I want to be complex and technical when I'm fishing, <laughs> not when I'm setting up my boat. So this just allows you to have an easy handle or you got handle grips on the side and you got really easy connectors on the outside. Um, and you can even do quick connectors from there on your cables. I'll show you that here in a second too. But uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just a really, really easy screw in and you've got all these other cool accessories so you can do charging of your GoPro or your phone or whatever. Um, you get a little battery voltage meter here for your, your battery. Uh, it all hardwires and hooks up right underneath there like that. And man, it's, it's just a really, really smart box for someone who really knows and understands like what we go through out there on the water. So, you know, you can um, get little USB options here as well um, to go into these cigarette lighters. So this is just a really, really cool option. The third thing I wanted to show you, and this is something that I really didn't do because I have my transducer mounted on my actual trolling motor, just like a bass boat, because I like to have that trolling motor directly below or the trolling motor and the transducer directly in line with each other. That is really, really key if you're like a precision bass fisherman. But but if, if you really don't care or you just don't have that option, this is actually a much easier design. Now, the downside to putting your transducer on your trolling motor like I do is that it, you can't actually take your trolling motor off of your boat because this wire is going to be usually wired somewhere or, or detached somewhere onto the boat. And so um, so that that would be a problem on John boats. And this is why this type of system is pr probably more practical for more people, unless you're really, really anal like I am about making sure you're getting perfect readings and you know, you know exactly what's going on. So um, this is just a really cool, easy mount. <clears throat> it can slide out really long or short. And it's a really, really cool thing to put on a Pelican. I'm even looking at a way to use this as a rudder system to where I can put one or two of these. This is a, a, something that I'm going to try and I'll do a video about this, but I'm going to use two of these um, and put a rudder, an actual rudder below it and, uh, and put one on the left and one on the right. And this is on the back passenger seat uh, because when I'm by myself, the way that that boat tilts forward, if you know a Pelican, the worst part of a Pelican is you can't just drive straight. Usually when you try to go straight, you end up corkscrewing or twisting around. It's really hard to navigate the boat, especially with any kind of speed because there's no rudder on the boat um, and, and the shape of it and there's no rudder. And that is the one of the most annoying things. Now, if you don't go fast, you don't have that problem. But if you try to go fast, you don't, you know what I'm talking about. The end, the back end of it tends to kick out to the side of you. So adding a rudder system, I believe putting one on the left and the right uh, and using this system could actually be really, really significant. And that's something I'm really looking forward to doing. Another kind of must have modification or mod for a Pelican or uh, even certain John boats and definitely kayaks is some type of system like this where it's wheels, it's like a dolly, right? So it's wheels and you, all you have to do is put it underneath the boat and then strap the strap your boat onto it um, with regular straps. And worst case scenario, you could modify this a little bit with a two by four um, if you have a pontoon style boat like I do, but it's a super easy mod. Even if you use a two by four, it might cost you like three bucks or something at the store and a couple of waterproof screws and you'll be good for years to go. Um, but that this is a kind of a must have, I think for moving that boat around and not having to like drag it on the grass or, or you know things like that. And a lot of times there's just places where you just can't really get the boat unless you have it on a dolly. So this is an absolute must have. And it's something that's really, really, really cool and it works really well on a Pelican. A more sophisticated option is this option right here. So this is actually a mounting system that mounts onto your boat, onto the transom. Uh, and this is actually a really cool system. So this is actually something that I'm going to try. I'll let you guys know how this works. But really, it's just you know, these just mount right in to the transom of your boat. Uh, and it allows for these wheels to, to, to be basically popped in when you want to move it and you can put them in an angle or whatever so i think this is just a really really cool system uh it's meant for a, a much heavier longer boat even so uh, it'll do really well with a pelican or, or john boat but this is a really cool option if you want to spend a little more money and get something that's really really cool I and mean, this thing supports up to 600 pounds which is way more than a pelican or you know john boat so this is a really really cool system if you you know need to drag your boat long distances or you just want something that's really going to mount on there well now you heard me talk earlier about rudders and things like that the best option and the cheapest option that you can get, and this is what I have on my boat, is this 
this thing right here. This is called the bull nose rudder. And it doesn't take out the 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 end kind of the bottom back swinging out completely. But I will say for $40, this did make a significant difference. Probably took out, I would say 30 or 40% of my uh, issues with my rudder issues in the boat. So once again, the faster and the longer you go fast, you're just going to have that problem unless you have a rudder in the back that's going to keep that boat aligned in the water. But this absolutely helped, which I was kind of surprised. I really didn't think that, that that like the logic of this like being in the front i just didn't think it would work but it actually did i saw another youtuber talk about it he said it worked phenomenal i tried it and i have to say this is one of the best modifications i've ever done because that is so annoying when you're on your pelican and you're moving quickly uh, and that back end starts starts to swing out um i will say that when you're going slow you don't really notice that as much um, at all you might notice your back end swinging out due to the wind but that's kind of normal in a boat a light boat and I'll definitely drop this into the links as well. So you'll see this. This is actually a really cool option. There's this one. I got one more like that. But I, if I would have known this was out there, I probably would have got the smaller one. Um, but what is, what's really cool about this is it allows you to charge all your devices right off of your battery. Uh, it hardwires it into the wall of your boat. You can see voltage. It allows you to have things like auxiliary lights. So if you need nav lights or uh, like some states, you're going to need nav lights. Um, you might want night lights. You might want uh, fishing lights for fishing in the dark, things like that. You might want lights under the boat, inside the boat, uh, LED strips, any of those kind of things. This is a sweet, sweet option. It's super inexpensive. It's a very easy install. And these, the one, the one thing I love about these and why I would go with these guys is these come with the wiring harness already pre-rigged. So you're basically ready to just plug it, plug and play with these, uh, these two here. All right, guys, so that is what I wanted to share with you today. That first modification with the foot pedal, I think that's just really, really cool. And it is really, really, it really transforms your whole fishing experience, being able to fish almost entirely hands-free, like 98% hands-free probably it feels like. It's just awesome. Hopefully you like those other mods as well. And let me know, guys, if you like um, more fishing from the boat kind of videos or fishing, you know, out on the lake, fishing on the water, or more, I know you guys will really like the bank fishing ones too, so I can do a ton more of those or whatever you like or we can do the bass boat ones too so um and anyway i was just kind of playing around with the uh kind of a um, not really showing my face as much on this one and just kind of see how that does as well so let me know um you know if, if you guys like this or not or i'll just <laughs> look and see at the stats but it's very interesting and on youtube uh videos like this uh tend to do very well as well so it really just depends so be interesting to see what you guys like and uh, once again guys i'm here for you trying to drop a video every single day uh, I know I've been uh, absent a little bit uh, recently. Uh, I had a lot going on with the kids. I have four kids getting them out of the summer and then putting them all into their new private school and all the stuff going on with schools and stuff. But everything's cool. We're living in Texas and everything is really, really well. Kids are totally um, living in freedom and safety and all that kind of stuff. So it's cool. And uh, but anyway, took some time to kind of make all that transition. But now we are back at it, guys. And I have a ton, a ton. I have at least 15. Uh, new trips that I, I I just need to edit and get out to you. So I cannot wait, guys, to put this stuff out to you. So thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next video. I appreciate you guys so much. I love hanging out with you, and I will talk to you soon.